we have two experiments today. Hello friends, today's video is another experiment video. We have two experiments today. For the first experiment, we're going to combine antiseptic with vitamin C to see what happens. First step, you get your glass and your water. Then, you put the water into the glass. Here is where the actual experiment starts. The combined the antiseptic solution with the vitamin C tablet. This is the normal color of water. Blurry clear. I'm going to see if the color changes if I put the liquid antiseptic into the water. Open it, then you put 10 drops of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> then you Mix it. Okay, looks like we need more than ten. part of the experiment can get pretty messy. Oh. Ah. Are you kidding? Oh! See? This experience. Very dirty. Oh, cool. The color of the waters change from blurry clear to orangey. Look! Now, time to put the vitamin C tablet into the glass and to open it then we do that then we mix The color has changed back to normal. Okay, now time for the explanation. The vitamin C tablet had something inside of it. It's ascorbic acid reacted with the... All right. And the... Uh, Liquid antiseptic contained ion and ion. The ascorbic acid 
bind with all of the iodine ions in the glass, removing all of the taste and color from the iodine ions. In a more simpler way to explain it, they just contradicted each other. For the final experiment, step one, you get your glasses. Step two, you fill them with a different amount of liquid each. Step three, you get eggs, about three eggs. Be careful, or else they'll break. They all sink into the water. Whoa! The, when you put an egg in water and you look at it sideways, it looks so big. And also the reason why the egg sank down to the bottom of the glass is it has a greater density than the water, so it sank down to the bottom of the glass. Okay, time to get the eggs back. And this part of the experiment, make sure to be careful. Yeah. Make sure to be very careful when you're doing this part. Good. Good. Alright, this one's being difficult. Come on! <laughs> Next step. You put a different amount of salt in each glass. The first one, two teaspoons of salt. Second, four teaspoons of, of salt. And the third one, six teaspoons of salt. Okay. Are you kidding? Well, wasn't that much at least. Ooh, it looks like when the salt comes in contact with the water, it makes it more and more blurry. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And you mix.
All right, I already mixed the salt into the water. Now we're gonna see if anything changes if we put the eggs back into the water. Okay. Okay, it looks like the glasses that I put more salt in eggs floated in. Both of these glasses eggs floated. Hmm. It looks like the first glasses egg floated for a little bit but ended up at the bottom of the glass. But the third and the second cup though Their eggs floated. But the third cup, which I put six teaspoons worth of salt, went higher and faster to the top than the others. The conclusion is, it looks like almost every egg floated, but every egg was different the more salt you add in the water the greater the density of the water is and at a certain point the eggs will just float okay that's all the experiments if you want to see my other activities on this channel make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell Bye!